I went back last night, listened to some beats. Um, wasn't feeling a couple drums. So I'm going to re-drum a couple things here. So I figured I would do a tutorial on putting samples in the beat maker, setting up your drums, and laying on some drums. So this is going to be a, a quick tutorial on laying on some drums and just how I do it. Again, my process, this tutorial will be great, 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 great for you if you are using Logic Pro X. Beatmaker 3. Logic Pro X, Beatmaker 3, iPad, Apple, Team Apple. If that is your, uh, if that is what you have, this will be beneficial. Uh, if not, this still will be beneficial, but, uh, it's much, it is easy, it is fast the way I work, that's why I, uh, use this process. So, let's do it. So what I'm doing here is I'm using Logic Pro to go through my samples um, quickly. Maybe there's a faster way to do this. This is personally my way. Just lets me sort through my samples. They're all in the same place. Um, I know doing it off of Finder, you have to hit play every time you want to hear a sample. I apologize, you can't hear any of my samples here. I'm not being stingy or a Grinch. I just did a screen recording and it didn't record the audio. So here I am recording over this. But anyways, what I'm going through is I'm putting in, I'm searching through my samples right here, getting samples real quick, uh, not doing anything you can't do. Uh, but basically you want to go to whatever folder your samples are in then I go ahead and go to my desktop. I create a new folder. And in this folder, I put, I rename it, uh, the name of the track and the samples for organization purposes. I leave it on desktop for easy access to it. And then I bring up logic. I find the sample that I want. I hit right click into it, I go to show finder, show in finder, and then it'll pop up in my finder so I'll see the actual format of it. And then what I'm gonna do is just copy it over. Make sure you copy it over, not just drag it over. Uh, if you drag it over, you might just move the whole sample from your computer onto a new place. Um, you don't wanna do that, Just so make sure you copy it. And then I'm just running through real quick. Again, I thought I had audio, so I grabbed a kick, a snare, and a drum. It's a blessing that I didn't use audio because those kick snares and drums don't sound that good. <laughs> this is me just going over it again. But anyways, once I have all my samples, then I'm going to go down to share, airdrop, it's going to pop up, then it's going to find my devices, grab my iPad, boom, send it over to my iPad, done, quick. Takes about two minutes, um, uh, or less than two minutes, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. No, no, who cares? Okay. Anyways. Pow. Done, son. So I could save it to my iCloud drive or I could save it to my iPad. Okay. So now this is important. Very important. Okay, so now that you have it, uh airdrop to this, simply hit on my iPad, Beatmaker 3. This is personal, you can save it in any folder from here on, but me, I go to Samples, I go to Craig Williams, I go to Weird. Actually, we'll just leave it in Craig Williams without the Weird. And then you just hit Add. Bada boom, bada bang, it's gonna add all those samples that you just had into your Beatmaker. And that's when you have fun. Okay, so I'm going to go. Out. Now that we have the samples inside the 
iPad. Now it's just about getting them. So you're going to go up to this button there. Documents. Go down, find your sample wherever you saved it. If you're like me, you went down to samples. I went down to Craig Williams' loops. Shout out to Craig Williams. There it is. <clears throat> okay so what i just did um is i really like the snare of this loop i'm not gonna use this loop just the snare so what you can do is you could take this you go into this button here Let's just start from the beginning, because I don't think I walked through that. So anyways, <clears throat> here, this is all your samples. Now, if you have a loop that you only want a certain sound from, you hit this button here, which lets you go into your sampler. This is S stands for start time. You find exactly where it is you want. This is how you test it. Hitting this play button up there. I got what I want. Cool. So, you might even be able to put a Oh, the end is over there. So basically that's all you do, drag and drop. You take that, drop, drop, figure it out. Now, if, for example, say you want to pitch this up, say that's not where you like, you just simply hit keys. And I'm pretty sure if the last note you hit on there, if you hit keys again, I don't know, doesn't save it like that, whatever. But that's keys. You might actually have to sit in there and play all that. Well, luckily, I got where I want. You could probably change the uh, the pitch here, yeah. So if say you wanted to change the pitch, again, that's in your sampler. So everything that you want to do as far as pitch changes, you want to change the pitch of your hi hats. 
That's all in the samplers right here in this tune to be exact. And that wraps up the tutorial. I'm just going to play some uh, music out real quick here. But thank you once again. That is how you get your samples into Beatmaker 3. That's how I use Logic Pro X and Beatmaker 3 to start getting my music uh, together. Uh, subscribe if you like what you saw. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you once again. Have a good rest of your day, guys.